Uh, this replay of the week is a pretty good game that I had platooned up with Tries HD, which is another mem uh, member of the Reddit community. Um, he's also in the Reddit clan. And he is in his STI, as I'm in my Lorraine 40T, rocking the tier 9 uh, platoon here. Um, we got a standard battle on Kharkov, which is a um, pretty iffy map, in my opinion, for the Lorraine. It's a good flex tank map, but uh, from what you'll see, it's not, not the best map for the Lorraine. There's a lot of corridors that you can get shot from uh, if you're not paying attention to the map as much. So let's see what happens. Uh, by the matchup here, it's pretty even. Um, lots of heavies on each team. Three tier 9 heavies on each team. Um, I guess we got tries in the STI as a fourth heavy. And then a couple of lower tier heavies and TDs and whatnot. So we'll see what happens. Um... I decide to pretty much go middle and then flex over towards the right of the map, uh, see if I can get any early lights as Tries is really just going to go bully wherever the hell he feels like because an STI at this map, especially at, uh, you know, the, the tier 9 battle with no tier 10s, the STI is just a god tank, uh, such as like the E75 or VK4502B, it's just a great heavily armored tank. And here we go, we're uh, rocking down the middle of the map here, kind of try and get any lights and I do not spot anyone so as my reload finally clips up I'm able to go towards the donut see if we can engage anyone here so I do stop to get shots on this ISU however I see that he fired I'm gonna try and get a shot on him so you get one shot into his side a very very low roll of 233 Jesus Christ that is just terrible RNG there and uh, me and Tries are really just gonna go push this flank and uh, try and flex back towards the middle which has uh, by the looks of it three lower tier heavies so that ISU is totally out of the battle at this point. He's the, really the only one holding down this flank, and we are just going to be able to tear right through him. And uh, I'm taking the flank route here, trying to get out of the way of him, uh, you know, conserve my hit points, not get shot by him, as our 34-3 and tries are pushing in to kill the ISU. So now, by the looks of the map, if you look here, we have everyone towards the middle of the map. The Yag Tiger and T-32 are still supporting that lane, um, kind of holding down both ways of flank, um, except for like the, the G6-7 position. So I'm going to go ahead and take the wide route as Tries pushes into the FCM, so I'll be able to get right into that battle on the flank. So me and Tries decide to push the FCM and T-32 since they are lower tiers and not deal with the KV-4 Yag Tiger. We have sufficient forces over there. So we're going to try and, uh, you know, take these guys out. So I do take a shot from the FCM um, as the T-32 is also holding down. So it's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to break that, but um, we'll see what we can do. So as Tries tries to take on this FCM, he gets a low roll on the IS-8 and I finish him. And here's really the clusterfuck that happens as I get a weird RNG roll on that FCM as he turns around. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this T-32 and I track him and Tries gets the finishing kill. So I did take a little bit of unnecessary damage there um, from the FC FCM, but um, I was really uh, thinking that Tries was going to focus him instead of the T-32, but um, you know, it, it, it shit happens, so... Um, I get my last shot on the Yag Tiger's uh, back of the hole um, in his superstructure, and I'm going to go ahead and clip and hopefully be able to help Tries out with this other STI, or uh, FCM rather, and uh, E75 that's down here. So 704 is sitting out in the open, and I'm still clipping for another 20 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and use this rubble as a little bit of cover in case he pushes me. 704 is on reload, just took out our T29, and really what I need to do here is keep him proxied for whoever wants to come around and wait for tries in that 704 to break that E75 that has low health points, and then I can really just flank this uh, 704 if he turns around. But uh, by the looks of it, once that E75 dies, the 704 is a pretty smart player, so he'll probably end up pushing me and see if he gets a high roll. But um, I'm, I mean, I'm perfectly content with taking a shot here. Um, I do take a shot at 704 and miss, but um, I hit him in the tracks and he tracks me. So that's really what I was, um, I was really thinking that I was going to get hit there for a low roll, um, hopefully still live, but he does track me and I'm able to pretty much DPM him out with my clip cannon. So that's always fun, clipping out at 704 frontally. Now we do have an enemy IS-3 and I figure out that I'm clipping, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, you know, try and get around to these guys, keep this E-75 spotted, and at the same time I'll let the 704 and uh, try to hopefully get the kill on these guys. So tries reloads before the T-29 can HE him, and he kills that T-29, as I'm now clipping, and I need one more kill for the BIA. And uh, the 704 has got the IS-3 pinned, so I'm probably going to wait till I'm clipped. Let tries go ahead and engage him, as that IS-3 just melts, Jesus Christ. And really, we're at four kills now for tries, two for me. Um, he's got 
almost, I believe, 5k damage. Um, we'll see that in the after battle ports. I think he gets his ace tanker on this game, either this game or another game. Uh, he got it. So I take a shot from the E75 with a shot on his side, and now we engage auto aim and uh, pretty much mow this guy down. So we got three shots left in the clip. Take one on his turret. His turret is traversing. Now we have to get around him. Use this little already as our cover. And shoot the U75 once. Hopefully someone will shoot him one more time. And we get the finishing kill. So a very nice, um, you know, just flex game there in Lorraine I wanted to showcase for you guys. Tries obviously did really well in the front line. Taking around uh, the main, you know, blaps of damage that those guys had on the U75 and FCM. Um, I was able to kind of get around, but that 704 did hold me up for a little bit. But Tries took the meat of the damage, like I said, and was able to eventually break that uh, engagement at mid. And really uh, let me flank around and kill that 704, um, then clean up everyone. And I mean, that's really the Lorraine's gameplay in a, in a nutshell, is really just taking, um, you know, the uh, engagements um, at range, kind of chai sniping as they call it, and then obviously um, cleaning up damage for the sloppy seconds. So um, we'll check out the after battle ports next, guys. Really just wanted to showcase this, because it is, like I said, another brother-in-arms game, and uh, just a overall pretty good showcase of how the Lorraine plays out, which I'm actually grinding right now. Um, I did make a review on the Lorraine. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I'll probably have that in the description. Um, if not, check it out on my page. Um, I'll probably have the bat chat and that review up by probably the middle of January. Um, I have been a little bit busy with these holiday times, but uh, I'm trying to you know grind it out the best I can. So I'll have after battle ports next, and uh, stay tuned for that. Alrighty, so here we have the actual after battle reports, and as you guys can see, we got Brothers in Arms, we got Fire for Effect, which is pretty much a given, and Duelist, which by the looks of it, I don't know who I got that from, but yeah, um, my guess would be probably the uh, IS-8 and whoever else I killed. Um, so we got Mastery Badge second class, um, decent amount of XP, 1,588 with times two, so just over 1,000 base XP. As tries, um, around the same amount of damage, one shot more, and uh, 1,123 uh, XP for him, and he got Seal Wall. So four kills for tries, three for me, and a uh, good damage spread on the team if you check out here, just a lot of people above 1,000 damage. I mean, E75s didn't really carry their own weight, but uh, we made up for that. Now, if we look at the enemy team, 704 that I was able to clip out, um, definitely a big-time kill there because he was their best player. And then we also got um, a couple of other guys on their team with zero damage down here in the lower tiers. If we look at earnings, um, I fired 18 times, penned 12, bounced 4, or bounced 2 and missed 4. Um, we can check out... Uh, well, battle time was really quick, only around rounded up to five minutes. And we definitely uh, were able to, you know, make some good credits out of that. Almost uh, 26,000, 25,734 credits. Um, I did not fire any gold rounds, so not that much resupply or repair costs. And with premium, you know, Lorraine, definitely a good credit earner too. Um, even though it is a clip cannon, it's definitely worth it. So we look what we damaged on these guys. Um, just doesn't let you see, but um, got the three kills on the IS-8, 704, and E-75. And then uh, we damaged uh, six different tanks, so that was all right. So definitely just a good flex game in Lorraine. Um, good flanking tank, uh, sloppy seconds, like I always say. So um, we did have some base defense points too, so that's why I got a lot of XP. Um, other than that, that's really it for this replay of the week, guys. Still encourage you guys to send in replays. Um, I did have a few replays sent in, but since the patch came, they're not not uh, compatible with um, my mod pack and even vanilla for the old um, you know patches. So I can't view those replays, unfortunately. So um, you know, uh, like I said, I encourage you guys to send in replays. Definitely helping out this channel. Um, you guys mean a lot for that, and especially my subscriber base is just uh, you guys are really cool. Um, so that's really it for this. Uh, I'll probably have that bat chat review up uh, in mid-January, hopefully grind it out, because I really don't want to use free XP since the Lorraine is such a good tank. And it just doesn't even feel like a grind. It's just so fun. So, yep, that's all for me, guys. Happy tanking. Good luck on the battle.